real quick. Um, I know some of you guys have had the opportunity to be at one of Angela's workshops. Some of you guys have not. Um, I'm really excited to be able to to have her here today. Um, uh, you know, you might she might run one or two more workshops the rest of the summer, um, uh, but uh, she'll be hustling hard right now in the number one spot in GCK for the push. And, um, uh, and then I, except for Dante, Dante's in the lead. <laughs> and then Dang it. Um, <laughs> um, but, uh, oh, really Dante. Excited. yeah, Angela, by the way, like freaking rock star from when I first started, um, uh, you know, when she first started, I remember, um, walking in, you know, and watching her like phone, she was phoning at Austin Worthington's office and, I'm like, who is this girl, you know, and someone that has become someone that I just absolutely adore and a close friend and like a little sister um, uh, and just so blessed to have her in the division, you know, just who she is, the fun she brings, um, uh, the work ethic she has. She's a freaking badass and has really, it's been so cool to watch her evolve in the business. And so for those who don't know, she paid her, you know, undergrad and grad school, you know, graduated with her master's from Drury, uh, working with Cutco in the summers. Um, and then last year, um, uh, or a year or two ago, uh, started, um, you know, uh, selling year round and, and got involved with the events team. And it's been just so amazing to watch her growth, but something that she has as a core foundation is her, um, you know, her, her, uh, appointment business, right. Her direct sales business with her customers in home. And so in addition to, an ass kicker that she's at the booth and working events and doing service events. She's also really dang good <laughs> at meeting with customers, doing demos, getting referrals, you know, and I'd asked her just to share some uh, tips and keys that, you know, helped her before and things she could pass on um, in terms of, of not just booking your appointments, but completing them. Right. And so firming them up because you do this, all this work to make phone calls and like, doesn't it suck if you like have appointments and then half of them are scheduled? I mean, it did for me. I'm like, well, that was a waste of time, you know? And so how do you do this in a way where um, when you, when you do the work, you know, you get to see maximum benefits from it. So I'm going to hand it over uh, to Angela to share with you guys here um, on just firming up your appointments and really finishing the second half of the push strong um, with this, with this skill set. So I'm going to remove myself. It's all yours. Awesome. Yes. Thank you, Kathy. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> I'm super excited to talk to you guys about firming up um, your appointments and uh, making sure that your appointments stick, right? Who here would be like super sad that they made like 50 calls, booked five appointments, and then all of those, you had to end up like rescheduling. Like that would suck, right? So for sure, we don't want that. So really going to help you guys with people remembering you, right? is your first impression is on the phone. That's when the customer first gets a glimpse. They get an idea um, of who is calling me, who is this, right? If you're on the phone um, and you're monotone and you're just, yeah, Mrs. Jones, I would like you to help me out with my presentation. It doesn't take too long. Is that something you're willing to do? They're not really that, like, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, mm, you know? So you have to make sure that on the phone that, you are bringing the energy. This is like a prelude to like your demo, right? They're getting a glimpse, a little idea of what's going to happen whenever you go out in person or when you're on virtual. And virtual is like a whole nother thing. You have to even be more extroverted um, through the screen, right? Because in person, you can obviously, um, you're there in person, so you can see gestures, body language, things like that. But um, definitely on the phone is like where it first starts. And that's um, it was crazy. Like last week, I, or about a week ago, week and a half ago, I did my first virtual appointment of the year. Okay. Y'all, I do not do virtual appointments. I'm at this point in my business where I just, um, it's not something that I've been doing, um, but I'm starting to implement demos again. And it's fun. <laughs> it's just that um, it just takes a lot more time versus, you know, like at the booth, it's super quick. Um, but it was great because this was a client, they are out in Florida. And the guy says, in the beginning, he goes, I honestly was not interested. I wasn't going to say yes, but you sounded like so nice over the phone. Like I was excited um, to to hear your presentation, your demo. And I was like, taken, kind of taken aback. I was like, oh, wow. I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm so excited like to show you guys Cutco. And like the wife was there. Um, it was great. They ended up getting like um, 
a whole bunch of like a homemaker, steak knives, super sheer, all types of stuff and gadgets um, because of the energy. Right. And like me being monotone, me being very dull and jaded, they probably would have not agreed to the appointment. Right. So definitely allow yourself to open up over the phone. Um, not, you know, being like too robotic. Um, but at this point, I'm sure you guys are still learning your script, if not memorizing it. Um, so definitely um, work on that, right? Look at your script, practice it, have practice with your mom, practice with um, siblings, your dog, cat, whoever, <laughs> but get better. So that way it comes out natural whenever you're phoning. Um, but yeah, firming up your appointment can prevent having um, it turn into a disappointment at the customer unintentionally forgetting. Um, and this anchors the demo and assures us that the customer has the appointment firm in their minds. So I'm going to give you um, some key points and I'm going to give you six, okay? So six keys to firming your appointment. Number one is the sooner the appointment, the better, all right? Darn, please, the sooner, the better. So if you can build urgency, um, and that's something that, you know, you guys learn in, in training is trying to make sure that you guys are booking within two to three days in advance. Um just because it's fresh on their mind. If you go a week, if you go two weeks, um, yeah, you know, I've done that where I've booked an appointment a week or two in advance. I've done months in advance, right? Um, but I'm also I'm also following up a week before, depending how far out it's at. I'm also firming up two to three days before um, because, you know, people go on vacation around the summertime. I completely understand. Um, some people will say, hey, go ahead and reach back out to me in two weeks so I can make sure to like to look at my schedule, see if it's open. Um, if I've been calling someone so many times, I'm not getting a hold of them. I'm like, hey, what does your weeks typically look like? And I'll book with them. And then I will make sure that I firm up, I firm up at the end of the appointment. I remind them a week before, you know, so many days prior. So that way we don't have any issues of, of them forgetting. So always be enthusiastic and talk in a loud, clear voice. Okay. Like I said, create urgency. That's the most important thing is building the urgency for them to book sooner than later. All right, number two is even if you know where the customer lives, still get the directions, right? Okay, there's, I literally, Riley field trained with me last week and the customer, I have like a Calendly thing and the customer fills out the appointment information. And I notice when I give my customers, um, the ability to book themselves on my website, there's always some craziness going on. And I always try to make sure I look to see, do they answer all the questions correctly? Do they put their address in right? People forget to put their phone number, their email address could be wrong. Um, and so he had put his address improperly. Luckily, the address, I'm telling you, this has happened to me before again, the address was only three minutes away, um, you know, so it wasn't terrible. Um, but I have had an appointment where they didn't put the zip code. They just put the street number and the street name and I ended up in um, Pasadena. I was supposed to be in Galveston. So I was kind of upset because, um, yeah, she was going to buy. She literally said, wanted to place order. I just remember I need to write that down. <laughs> okay. Um, hold on, y'all need to write that down because she said she wants to place order. So yeah. Um, so that's another thing too, right? Time's wasted. I'm driving out here and then I just wasted like two hours of my time that I could have been doing that other stuff. Cool. So yeah, get your directions. Uh, make sure, look, I don't know about North, North, South, East, West, but just be like, where's some landmarks? Um, you know, once I get into the neighborhood, is there a light, you know, just ask for specifications because they're also relaying it through their head and maybe they don't know. Um, but this just kind of helps, you know, reinforce where you're coming from. Hey, I'm coming down 45, north, south, I-10, 59, wherever. Houston's crazy. Um, so, yeah, just make sure you get good directions because now, um, yeah, over the phone. So, um, and also, like, if sometimes customers will say, hey, um, you can park in the driveway, park on the street. Um, my mailbox is this color. I have a so-and-so flag. My kid has his martial arts sign in the front, wherever, right? Get specifications, that helps. Number three, okay? 
Use the name of the person who refers you to them as a way to solidify the appointment, right? So use the name of the person who referred you to them as a way to solidify the appointment. So of course, whenever um, you are firming up the appointment and they agree, excuse me, um, whenever they agree to the appointment and be like, yeah, so like Mrs. Thompson, I'm um, really looking forward to seeing you. I've heard a lot of great things that Miss Baker um, told me about you, right? And if you want to chit chat a little bit more at the end, right? In the beginning, you're kind of establishing who you are, who you got referred to, recommended to at the end, if you want to kind of be like, yeah. Um, and that's also a piggyback to the virtual appointment I did a week and a half ago. The It was a cousin. So it was a guy, he ended up upgrading. He came up to the booth, signed up for sharpening, went out to his house. He upgraded from the family to the complete set with steak knives. He gave me a baller list of like 15 people. And I said, give me everyone. So um, the guy out in Florida, um, well, his cousin wrote on the paper because I was like, how, like, I want to know everything about these people. Like, tell me something funny about them. Like, I want to, because like, I like kind of not, I like having inside jokes. So I'm like, whatever, like you have on them, <laughs> like, that's funny. Just let me know. So he was like, yeah, he's a really good um, cook. He has a radio show. And like, there was some other joke he said on it. And I like mentioned it. And he was like, oh, my cousin would say something like that. Uh, I can't really remember what it was. But um, just having um, just like any type of information you can get on your recommendations, ask for it, right? Um, like, does this person like any hobbies, enjoy? The more you know about them, the better the appointment goes, the closer you connect with them, the easier it flows. Um, and you just skip so many steps, right? And that's a whole nother talk about being able to connect to people in like five, 10 minutes, like super quick. Um, but yeah, so just make sure that if you have any information on them, you just kind of just say, yeah, I heard so many great things about you. She told me that you do some awesome cookies. She told me that you can bake the baddest strawberry cake, uh, you know, X, Y, Z. Cool. Number four. All right. Number four is gonna be after you ask for the directions, ask them to write down the appointment and put it on the refrigerator, put it in your calendar, put it somewhere, okay? And what I used to do, um, when I first started with Cutco, I used to actually tell them to take a penny and tape the penny on the fridge. Um, as we know, you guys don't have sample kits. We are in now an era of um, nothing but screens and computers. But back in the day when I started, we actually had the knives and we actually cut with them. Um, the customer was actually able to hold them and use them, which I still do today. When I got to demos, I still have the customer hold the knife. Um, and yeah, and I cut the penny. So cool. If you guys have super shears, um, you want to be cutting this, you want to use the super shears in your appointment. If you're doing an in-person appointment, um, ask your manager how to win super shears. Um, you should just have them in general because they cut freaking anything. They're amazing. Um, yeah. So I tell them to tape a penny on the fridge and they're like, what, why am I taping a penny on my fridge? I'm like, it's okay. It's going to, it's going to be a magic trick when I get over. It's like, it's just, don't worry. You, because every time you're going to look at your fridge, you're going to be like, why is there a penny? And you're never going to forget that I'm coming. So yeah. And the, the more odd it is, the better, right? So have them put it in their notes, have them put it in their um, digital calendar, physical calendar, make a sticky note. Um, and this is what I say. All right. And you guys want to listen to this part. Whenever um, I'm like firming it up with them, I'm like, can you please write, can you please get out a pen and paper? And they're like, yeah, for sure. I have something very important to tell you. And they're like, okay. <laughs> I was like, could you please jot down my name? All right, our appointment time. And then put a smiley face next to my name because that's how I'm gonna show up. <laughs> um, and then sometimes I would use my rep number. So like um, this, and I would say, okay, by the way, this is the confirmation number for our appointment. And I would, you can either just make up a number, honestly, but I just use my rep number. And that's your number that you you get whenever you um, first started with Cutco. You guys is probably start with a five or six. I don't know what number we're at now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just give them my rep number. 
Um, don't give them their social security, <laughs> right? Don't give them that number, um, but just something that you're able to remember or just make it up. But you also need to have them repeat it to you. So like after you give them the number, you need them to repeat it. <laughs> so you got to know what it is, right? Um, so yeah, so this is all about that our appointment, um, put a smiley face next to my name, time, name, um, confirmation number. Um, this appointment means a lot to me, right? You're relaying after you're firming up. Like, thank you so much for your time. This means a lot to me. As a matter of fact, um, go ahead and write down $10,000. I'll tell you why um, whenever I get over it. <laughs> and they're just like, what? So you just make jokes. Like, I just say random stuff, honestly. Um, in the moment. So yeah. So number five, all right. Number five is going to be follow up by saying something along the lines of, I really, really appreciate you helping me. Like you need to, I like literally say this over and over again. Like, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you like reached the appointment. Like Mrs. So-and-so was so, um, spoke, spoke so highly of you. I was asking her if she knew anyone that was just super nice, super sweet. And I hope that's true. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm like super, super excited to come out to do the appointment for you. Um, this is very important. So um, you'll see, I'll see you on, right? On Zoom, I'll see you in person, whatever that is. Um, but yeah, you just repeat the day and the time and the specific day. That's like very important to just keep thanking them. Yeah. Um, because you're painting a picture. So that's going to help. All right, number six. Um, so yeah, I would say number five is just like painting a picture. If you just want to label it painting a picture, basically. Number six, um, I would say don't give the customer, I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of, this last tip, I'm kind of like, yes and no. I'll give you two, I'll give you two ways. So yeah, don't give the customer your phone number. Some people already I've already have your phone number. If you're seeing friends and family, you probably have, probably already have your contact saved. Um, because if they ask for your number, um, they're more than likely to call you before um to cancel or reschedule. Um, and that's happened several times because what I do in my business, um, people are coming to me to get service for their products. So I'm providing a free service for them. And I do have my number. They do get my number, but I also send a reminder 24 hours in advance. I send a reminder one hour in advance to the appointment. And then I text someone on my way. And there's been several times where some people will say, don't text, you're on your way. Some people will say, do text, you're on your way. Um, but I'm not wanting to find out that my customer is not home by driving. So I need to find out before I leave <laughs> if, I, if I need to reschedule or something. So that's just me. I text before I leave my appointment. Um, I, my time is very precious. I can't buy time. Um, and, you know, I need to know if you, we need to reschedule. I need to know if I'm driving out an hour and a half to your house and you're not home because I've done that several times. And yeah, it ticks me off. Like I'm upset because I just wasted three hours of driving, two hours of driving, right? Um, so that's why I will use this phrase. And I say, you know what? I know you never, I know you would never mean to do this, but I once drove out an hour and a half away and the customer wasn't even home. <laughs> How crazy is that? Right. And they're like, Oh, I would never do that. No, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Cool. So, um, you want to give that example because that has happened and it's not fun and yeah, stuff like that, you know, emergencies, whatever. Um, but these other times it was the customer forgetting. That's what it is, right? Um, not that you're not important and they just, you know, said, forget you, say forgot. So um, pro tip, this is like super, super, super advanced. Um, but later, actually I will show it with you guys because I recently, like I've been in the business for seven years. I just started doing this last year. Um, it's a time saver. But at least if you guys want to take the time if you want, um, it's just another way. Um, since I've had this account, I have had a reschedule rate of like one to 2%, really like 
because of this. Um, I do pay for it. You can do the free trial, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys have heard. Am I able to share my screen? Whoever has the buttons. Yeah, I am. Sweet. All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to share this here. All right, everyone can see this. Is it visible? Sweet. Cool, cool. All right, so I have like all different types of events. Cool, so like this one's like super heavily used, which is a sharpening repair, the Cutco demo, business consultation, um, and then obviously mall, right? We have people that bring the knives up to the mall. I can sharpen the knives there as well. So um, this is already like a page that looks like this. Um, so like for today, um, these are the appointments that are left. Um, tomorrow, there's quite a bit left. Same thing for the 20th, 22nd is like pretty much a full day. I'm booking that up, um, so, so on and so forth, right? Um, so as you see, like if you click on it, let's say someone books today, you're like, you know what? I want to do a one o'clock, right? Sweet. They'll click next. This is called Calendly, by the way. So um, I'm going to actually put this in the... Yeah, so like, Angela, I, we'll teach this to people individually as they get to uh, the right stage. So this is more advanced for... Well, yeah, everybody. I'm just saying that if you want to mess around with it, you can. But yeah, mm -hmm. it just kind of helps confirm um, the appointment. But at least you like have an idea. Um, this helps me out a lot. Um, so yeah, that's a pro tip. But it's called Cali.com and a lot of the CSPs use it. But honestly, if I could use it when I first started, I would, right? So more than welcome to ask more questions about it, but this just helps um, firm up your appointments and it, it actually reminds your customer for you. They get email, they get text. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. That's all I have for you guys. That's it. <laughs> um, thank you so much.